After every bull market comes a bear market, but there's also a lot of things when it comes to different altcoins as to how fast they actually recover. Historically, Bitcoin's always recovered first and alts usually follow after for the majority of uh, cycles, if you will. That said, some of the easiest ways to 10x, 20x, 30x potentially is getting involved in the cryptocurrencies that are a little bit slower to recover, but still have a lot of quality, a lot of positive things behind them uh, that possibly had that blow off top in the last cycle and are still down as Bitcoin's recovered and almost gotten close to its all time highs. These cryptocurrencies are still down 70, 80, 90 percent uh, from their prior all time highs. So in today's video, we're going to just cover a bit of a list of some of the top cryptocurrencies, some of the top altcoins that are still significantly down from their prior all time highs that could easily be that in, in my opinion, that have all the quality that have all the qualities that you are looking for in an altcoin and probably the easiest way to 10x your crypto portfolio in this upcoming bull market. That said, if you're new here, my name is Alex, talk about crypto, crypto news, crypto passive income. If you enjoy content like that, consider subscribing, enjoy this video, smash up the like. But without further ado, let's jump in the video. When it comes to the bull market, there's always different approaches by everybody. And I think one approach that oftentimes gets overlooked is simply getting into extremely oversold cryptocurrencies. Uh, because yes, while Bitcoin can go up 50% over that period of over the last month, for example, uh, certain cryptocurrencies are up 200%, 100%, 500% over that same period of time. So if you simply just break apart Bitcoin and then you look at alt, or you could even toss in Ethereum there with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then you have altcoins. And essentially anything out of the top 10, a lot of the cryptos outside of the top 10 are down significantly still from their all time highs in 2021 uh, or possibly 2022, depending on their when they launched. Uh, and a lot of the reasons these cryptocurrencies are down could be due to the sector they were in being extremely overhyped in 2021 uh, and seeing a potential success in those niches moving into this bull market. A lot of it could also be cryptocurrencies that launched in the midst of the FOMO aspect of the cryptocurrency stage. Uh, and when they launched, they had these multi-billion dollar market caps and all of a sudden uh, crypto is down and they haven't quite recovered. So in today's video, we're going to focus on a few niches, niches, however you want to pronounce that, uh, that have cryptocurrencies that are down significantly. And each one of these cryptocurrencies, if they were simply to reach their prior all time high, would all be 10x opportunities. And so this isn't saying that they've never been there. Uh, it is saying that they may not go back there. But when you're looking at the easiest potential opportunities with these projects that are building, that are growing, these could be some easy, you know, base hits, if you will. Uh, if you're wanting to make sure you've got something in your portfolio that has or has been at a point where it's much, much higher than it is today. That said, you know, there's obviously some in this list. For example, Doge that has been pumping over the last uh, couple of days that still is, you know, down a significant amount. It would do nearly a seven to eight X from where it is right now to be back to its prior all time high. So there's a lot of cryptocurrencies that are all in that niche, while something like Ethereum doesn't need to do a two X to get back to its prior all time high or, or the likes of BNB. So some of these cryptocurrencies. Yes, they're still down, but they're not down as much as some of these. And the, the place that you can go and look as far as some of the different cryptocurrency is that are still down significantly from their prior all time highs uh, is a place called Coin Go Live. Now, obviously, there are going to be some cryptocurrencies on this list that, you know, maybe are in our best interest to possibly stay away from. Uh, you know, everyone has their opinion about uh, Luna Classic, Terra Luna Classic, but it is down a significant amount from where it was. Uh, but there are certain cryptocurrencies here that have had their time in the sun and probably will never be there again. So that's why in today's video, I just want to focus on a few that are building, some that are growing, 
and some of the possible recent developments that they've had as well. Uh, this is both in the layer one blockchain niche and the game games gamified, the play to earn niche, if you will. And then lastly, some exchanges in one that is specifically in the IoT space. So for example, I know there's a lot of people who are huge fans of IC, ICP, Internet Computer. Uh, it's all time high was $700. It's currently at $12. So that means it would still need to do a 53X to be back to its prior all time high. Uh, you look at something like Zcash, it would have to do a 106X. So some of these are absolutely insane numbers to even consider. Uh, if these were to go back to their prior all-time highs, you can see something to the likes of Chio, which we've talked about on the channel, a 41X just to be back to his all-time high, not to surpass that in any way, shape, or form. So we'll go through a few of these real quick. So Moonbeam specifically is part of the Polkadot ecosystem. Now, what is interesting behind uh, Moonbeam specifically is that when you look at some of the opportunities within Moonbeam, uh, Polkadot has had a lot of progress over the years. But uh, the issue with Moonbeam is the fact that when it launched, uh, the token itself launched, well, it didn't launch at the most ideal time. Uh, we'll see this uh, kind of a consistent theme, if you will, uh, across some of these cryptos. But uh, Moonbeam recently announced a partnership uh, with a company called Animo Industries, I guess is, is how it's pronounced, but essentially it's to in the blockchain gaming space, uh, which many have talked about on you know crypto, on, on YouTube, whatever platform it may be, uh, that it, they perceive the uh, gaming niche to be extremely massive or could be potentially extremely massive in this upcoming cycle. That said, uh, the likes of Moonbeam getting involved and having their you know toes dipped in the water is extremely great. The anticipation for Stars Arena is palatable with NFTs related to the game already generating nearly $9 million in trading volume on OpenSea. So this is already an, a game that is uh, developed. You have the demo that is available so you can play the demo, um, but it, it is coming soon, uh, will be available on Steam. To me, it reminds me there was a game War Robots is kind of what it reminds me of to a certain degree. Uh, but in the end, having this kind of partnership with Moonbeam is going to be a positive for the likes of the Moonbeam token uh, and gives it some, some attention in that niche itself. Uh, so you can see down significantly from its all-time high. Uh, you can see that it is slowly but surely trending upwards. But when you consider the likes of Moonbeam and you look at Moonbeam on this list, uh, I just had it. Yep. So it would still need to do almost a 40 X to be back to its prior all time high. That to me is absolutely insane. Uh, and that's an easy base hit. Uh, and if you take a look at some of the details of Animo Industries, you can see a little bit more details about this game and what is coming. Moving on to Casper. Casper is another layer one. Uh, Casper is really not one that's oftentimes talked about, even though it is an uh, absolutely massive uh, company in some of the biggest partnerships uh, and uh, collaborations that they have within their ecosystem. I think this is one that in a lot of ways is under the radar. People see it in you know the, the top 200 uh, and don't really pay a whole lot of attention to it, but I think it's one that will gain attention over the course of time. Uh, that said, it also launched, you know, remember in June, uh, end of May, early June of 2021, we had Bitcoin go up to what 65K, uh, came back down and then 69K in November. Uh, so this launched around that time in 2021. So obviously you've had quite the sell off. If you look at the likes of Casper Network, it would do another 31X just to get back to its all time high. Uh, if you look at the ecosystem, it is an absolutely massive ecosystem that either they are partners with uh, they are providing some form of uh, infrastructure for, uh, or they're involved in one shape, way, or form. One way, one more, one way, shape, form, or shape. Something like that. Either way, Casper, in my opinion, is a under the radar, highly overlooked project uh, that I think will be making some headlines in this upcoming bull market. One to definitely keep your eye on. Uh, and they've had some recent upgrades. Uh, that definitely are beneficial to its ecosystem. So 
Definitely recommend uh, that you check out the recent mainnet upgrade uh, and some of the details that came by with it. But one, at least in my opinion, an easy base hit considering uh, your partners that they have and the growing ecosystem that, that they have moving forward. Algorand kind of speaks for itself. Algorand's been uh, around for quite a while, um, and it's one that you know has had it's really uh, if you look at prior cycles right when um you know you've got 2019 as things really started to slowly recover uh algorand in many ways is back to where it was in that recovery stage right before a bull market happens uh, and in the bull market the the likes of algorand was that uh about uh two dollars right so if the likes of Algorand was to go back up. It's, it's really in a lot of ways, if you trace this, um, following this same kind of trajectory. And I think this is what is in store for Algorand in this upcoming bull market, which would make an easy 10x opportunity. But like I said, Algorand kind of speaks for itself. It's got a budding ecosystem and it continues to grow. Recently, they are partnering up with the Plateau, Plateau uh, state government in Nigeria. Uh, to kind of explore some of the opportunities that are available as far as blockchain services, some of the opportunities that blockchain technology can uh, improve on in the governance, administration, state services, uh, and judicial legislative services for uh, procurement and healthcare. So there's there's a lot of things that they are doing uh, more on a government official front, if you will, that make Algorand extremely appealing, at least in my opinion. There's also another project that is growing uh, quite rapidly on uh, Algorand as well, built on Algorand. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of uh, projects in this space. This is the blockchain version, crypto version, but invest in fractions of rental properties listed by third party sellers. I think this is very interesting. It's not a, it really anything new. There are programs out here that do this already, uh, but this is becoming more and more successful. Um, and I've seen positive reviews about this. Uh, so I think this is going to be quite interesting to see how this goes. And be, being built on Algorand is an extremely positive thing. That said, I want to kind of go through a few uh, play to earn or projects in the metaverse gaming uh, sector of crypto. When you look at Sandbox, uh, you look at the likes of Gala, uh, you look at the likes of Axie Infinity, all three of these were household names in 2021, 2020, 2021. Uh, some of these projects you can see doing really, really insane numbers. I mean, this is there's nothing more FOMO-ish in a bull market than that. Uh, you look at it from going from four cents to a what almost eight dollars. That would have been a 200 X with the likes of Sandbox uh, going from 2020 to 2021, 2024, 2025, I think we can see something like this to the likes of Sandbox. Uh, it still would be another, I mean, if we go back over here, Sandbox would have to do, uh, let's see, where we go, where are we here? I just had it pulled up, but um, there you go. So Sandbox would have to do a 12X to be back to its prior all-time high. So still a lot of upside potential. Sandbox continues to grow. You look at Gala, same thing with Gala. Gala would almost do another 20X from where it is right now. The Gala ecosystem continues to grow. I think Gala is, when the gaming sector gets back to its prior all-time hype, uh, a lot of its popularity, uh, Gala is going to be at the forefront of it. Axie Infinity, uh, I know a lot of people don't talk about Axie. It's nothing that is you know, it's a crypto game. There's multiple crypto games, but Axie being one of the most successful in its time, um, Axie still has quite a, a high level of uh, in people playing the game. Uh, you can see the volume over the last 30 days is up almost 10%. Balance is increasing. So it's, it is interesting to see, are people coming back to the gaming niche? Are they getting back into these games? Uh, and I think that there will be a point that we saw that kind of metaverse, the the gaming sector having that level of FOMO. I think we could see that again, uh, and you can see the likes uh, of what Axie Infinity did, going from you know ten cents uh, to you know over one hundred fifty dollars. I, I don't even know. I think that's a thousand, a thousand X, if I'm doing my math right. But that, that, either way, it's literally insane to think about 
how well Axie Infinity did, and it still has quite a ways to go. You need to do over a 10x, it would be about a 15, 20x to get back to his prior all-time high. Uh, and then a last uh, couple of uh, DEXs, right? So decentralized exchanges did extremely well in, 20, in, in the bull market of 2021. And a lot of those decentralized exchanges haven't come back to their prior all-time highs. One of those being one inch, the other being pancake swap. Uh, you can see those having reached back in like the April, the May, June timeframe really had a lot of their peak. Uh, I mean, you look at pancake swap, it would be an easy 10 X. You look at one inch at 55 cents, it was over close to eight dollars, an easy uh, 10 to 15 X from where it is today. Now, last but not least is a project called Jasmine. Now, Jasmine specifically really did launch um, on the high end. You can see over the past month, it's up over 330 percent. But in this instance, it is down a significant amount from its all time high back in 2021. Uh, it's directly involved in the IoT niche. Uh, we talked about Deepin and IoT being a industry that is going to continue to grow. We've talked about Deepin, Deepin Summer. Um, I think this involvement that the likes of Jasmine can have in this industry by being associated to it can have a lot of success. And uh, you can see some of the details that uh, Jasmine has had. Uh, some of the the information about the project as well, some things that, that they are doing. And if you look at the opportunity of Jasmine, um, it's it's down a significant amount from its prior all time high. And in fact, um, if if Jasmine and this is a, a huge if this is a straight hypothetical, um, a hundred dollars in Jasmine times twenty two thousand nine hundred forty six percent would be two point two million dollars so I, I i don't know it's 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 something that is absolutely insane at least in my opinion now will jasmine ever go back to this price point probably not uh you can see the total supply um this would make jasmine an, an insanely massive company uh so you do have to be cognizant of the fact that just because uh it is down significantly from its all-time high doesn't mean it'll go back to that price point um, because you would have to consider the fully diluted market cap being absolutely massive. Um, if you're looking at 50 billion, right, and you multiply that by four, you've got a uh, 200 billion dollar market cap with the likes of Jasmine without popping up the calculator. But either way, you know, projects do insane things. Projects are successful, even if the likes of Jasmine goes back to just uh, where it is here at two dollars, right? That's 100x from where it is today. So. Projects can do crazy things. Bull markets can do crazy things. Uh, and hopefully this kind of, maybe these aren't the specific projects, but I would definitely recommend going through this list. I'll leave a link to this down below, but just going through this list and looking at some of the projects that maybe you were involved in at one point. Uh, maybe you turned away because you lost interest or you haven't paid attention to recent developments uh, and you wanna look at what is the potential upside to some of these projects uh, and what could happen if these do go back up. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are there certain projects that you're looking at that are down a significant amount that you think have the potential to uh, do just an easy base hit of a 10x in this upcoming bull market by simply going back to its prior all time high or possibly surpassing it by just a little bit? Leave your thoughts, comments, and projects down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash up the like. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.